did the Transformer, chilling outside of Gnome 4, rocking with Jimski TV. That's my favorite white girl right there. I love you. Old Red in the building, Jersey. What's going on? Old Red the Transformer, chilling at the Gnome 4 joint. Irvin Plaza just seen this super dope event. We got a few battles coming up, y'all already know. Jim Ski, what's going on? I think the females had the battle tonight. They had the best battle. Uh, I think the first two rounds were super dope from both of them, and Hustle had a better third round. It was an overall debatable battle, but I think Hustle had a better overall performance for the night within the zone. They definitely had battle of the night, man. Big T, Big T and B Magic. I don't know what the hell they was doing. Magic was on the shit, man, but he kept fucking up. I mean, that's what happens. I mean, He's he been taking a lot of battles lately, you feel me, and everybody can't do that, so it happens. Um, what else is on this card? Verb and Goods. I think Goods won clearly. You feel me? Good. That might have been the best I seen Goods, you feel me? And that was technically Goods' first big stage battle. So. He did his numbers, you feel me? Controlled that crowd like he usually do. And shit. I was I personally was pulling for Verb, but I think Goods won that. DNA, man. I, I sat there and watched DNA freestyle for an, his entire second round. That shit was amazing to me because he he was hitting too while he was freestyling, you feel me? His first round might have been a round of the night. Like he destroyed Will the first round. Second round, he destroyed Will, and then the third round, I, I personally think Will got the third round, you feel me, but at that point it didn't even matter, like he lost the first two rounds so clearly that it didn't even matter, the third round was just completely irrelevant if you ask me. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to say this, shout out to URL for keeping the time limit at what it was supposed to be. You feel me? Um, a lot of people just pay their money to see the battle. The more they see, the better. You feel me? They personally don't care, so they probably look down on Smack. But their contract stated two-minute rounds. And one of the rappers tried to clearly go over the two-minute rounds, and the other one wasn't having it. So Smack had to abide by those rules. You feel me? It was legally bonded. You feel me? And shout out to URL for handling business like that. A lot of people going to look down on them for it. But they did exactly what they were supposed to do, which was hold the rounds to two minutes. I can't knock them for being strict. It was a contract. Contracts are strict. I know us as fans, I'm a fan of this shit too. I want to see more content, but at the end of the day, what's on that paper and what's locked in is what's locked in. There's nothing they can do about that. Well, not trying to get sued. Exactly. And that's what happens. Yeah, that, that, could, that could damage them more than any type of fake bad rep because and I call it fake bad rep because I don't think this should be a negative shot taken towards them I think they did exactly what they were supposed to do as a company so to avoid I mean with the job they, they could have risked it and nine times out of ten they would have got sued by one of the artists probably and the battle would have never hit YouTube June 28th I got a king of, king of the dot battle versus rum nitty and Cali, that's going to be crazy. July 5th, I got the Lift His Soul joint with Mav Hoffa, you feel me? Definitely main event. That's the That one right there, the bread one, like I said, man. Me and Mav got some things to talk about, you feel me? I think uh, if you're in the New York area, if you ain't got your tickets yet, def definitely get your tickets, man. Shout out to ARP and them too, you feel me? The whole RBE movement, I love how they do business and all that. Um, definitely, if you ain't got your tickets for Lift His Soul, make sure you get those. July 27th, I got Charlie Clips. That's the home battle. You dub, you feel me? Y'all Yo, already know how I rock with you dub. Like, I ain't even got to explain myself on that. North New Jersey, make sure y'all get y'all tickets so y'all can watch me unload that clip on clips, you heard? Talent-wise, or I should say bar-wise, Rum Nitty. 
Math on a personal note and as far as the level of the matchup, I think uh, that's going to be a dope card, man. RBE put together a dope card. Like I said, uh, Charlie Clips, man. I got to put hands on Charlie Clips. He's been talking wild for like a year. But I think the most anticipated for me personally, like I said, is math because we got some things to talk about, man. It ain't nothing big. It's just... The fact that he really thinks he could beat me, I take that personal, man. Um, and it's not its not a camera thing. Like, he pulled me to the side and said this, you feel me? So that's why, like I said, it's a personal note. Me and Math, cool. Math, watch me. Math, watch me grow into the rapper that I am today. He was at one of my first battles ever in Rhode Island, you feel me? So, me and him, cool. You feel me? It's just, I got to show him, like, yo, you can't fuck with me, bro. I'll rock with you. And you, you my dude, definitely. But. I'm going to put them hands on you, man. And I don't want people to expect no fake tough shit, you feel me? That's not me. I'm myself. Every battle, I do what I do. You feel me? That being said, I'm not going to try to pull math out to do some shit that may cost him his, his future in battle rap, you feel me? So, I mean, I hope it's a good battle, man. I'm not shooting for no classic or nothing. I know y'all want to see a classic, but I'm shooting for a body bag, man. You already know. I love you, Jimski. I love you. <laughs>